I have two main points. Um, you may have heard uh, that natural gas is a bridge fuel, uh, and I like to say that fracking is a bridge to nowhere. Um, and the second is that the entire fossil fuel uh, uh, economy, based economy that we have now, uh, is really a Ponzi scheme. And until that is widely recognized, we have to do everything in our power to, to minimize the use of fossil fuels and transition to clean energy. I spent a very long time in the clean energy arena and was actually uh, ran the Office of Energy Efficiency and Renewable Energy at the Department of Energy uh, for a while. So I never had uh, any doubt that we could replace fossil fuels with clean energy. That was back in the mid-1990s. The technologies are considerably better now. I was doing a lot of clean energy consulting until 2005 and Hurricane Katrina when my brother lost his home. Uh, he lived in past Christian, Mississippi, a mile inland, and, and had uh, uh, water uh, 20 feet high in his house. So he wanted to know if he should rebuild, and I, since I have a physics and oceanography background, I started talking to climate scientists and learned two things, one of which was the situation was considerably more dire than I had realized and I thought things were pretty dire back then. And secondly, uh, scientists were doing a really lousy job of communicating this. So I stopped doing <coughs> clean energy consulting and started doing communications full time. There's a quote I'll read from the president of the American Gas Association. Uh, In fact, gas energy, currently America's largest domestically produced fuel, could prove to be the keystone to solving the nation's energy crisis by serving as the quote, bridge fuel to the next century's renewable energy technologies. He said that in 1981, 31 years ago. Uh, so I'd like to say this is the longest bridge in history. Uh, the Golden Gate Bridge only took four years to build. The fact is that we were told back in the 1980s that we had to transition off of fossil fuels to avert seeing a lot more Katrinas and now a lot more Sandys, a lot more extreme weather, the kind of drought, the kind of uh, unusual uh, uh, heat waves that we've seen, the sea level rise, which is making the superstorms more destructive. It was estimated that every inch increase in storm surge displaced uh, 6,000 people in Hurricane Sandy. So it's, it's uh, uh, you know, we're facing a sea level rise of, of a foot by mid-century and, and several feet uh, by the end of the century. So the thing, now we have to get off of fossil fuels entirely. We, to avert catastrophic climate change, we need to pretty much stop building all new fossil fuel infrastructure this, this decade. <coughs> We've been getting rich by depleting all our natural stocks, water, hydrocarbons, forests, rivers, fish, and arable land, and not by generating renewable flows. And so you, you get this burst of wealth from this rapacious behavior, but it has to collapse. Uh, unless adults stand up and say this is a Ponzi scheme, we have not generated real wealth, and we are destroying a livable climate. Uh, obviously, real wealth is something you can pass on to your children and they can <coughs> pass on to their children. In our case, uh, it's a different sort of a Ponzi scheme. We're not uh, staying rich on the basis of fooling the next guy to put money into the Ponzi scheme. We're <coughs> staying rich by destroy, taking and destroying the resources that otherwise our children would depend upon. So the victims of this Ponzi scheme are our kids. And in that sense, it's, it's much worse than any other kind of Ponzi scheme. You have um, a completely unsustainable system. You, you are uh, trying to replace, uh, uh, you're trying to dig more of a hydrocarbon out of the air, uh, out of the earth, and the hydrocarbon, burning hydrocarbon, you know, releases carbon pollution, which traps heat. Um, the process is very leaky, so the methane itself, methane is a very potent greenhouse gas. It's, it's uh, about 20 times as potent as, as carbon dioxide and trapping heat over a century, and, and 70 to 100 times more potent than trapping heat over a 20 year period. And it leaks out, and that leakage also heats the planet, and you're destroying the, the groundwater and all to create a fuel that our children and grandchildren can't possibly run the economy on because it will lead to a completely ruined climate. So the whole mindset of this Ponzi scheme has to change and the adults, if they care about their kids, 
uh, their grandkids and future generations to stop this insanity.